If you can't take out your phone right now and find at least 20 different media outlets that are interviewing you or critiquing your music, then you've got a lot of work to do, my friends. Hey everybody, my name is Bobby Borg, and for the last 30 years I've been working professionally as a drummer in the bands Beggars and Thieves and Warrant as a best-selling author and university professor. And now on this YouTube channel, I make short, no bullshit, information-packed, and sometimes humorous videos about the music industry that can help you turn your passion for music into a more successful business. Since the media can give your music career so much credibility and exposure, here are 10 tips to pitching your music for blog reviews and stories. Number one, setting goals. Setting goals is the first step in trying to get media because setting goals will put the entire situation into perspective. Are you trying to build publicity around the release of a record? Or is it the launch of a tour or a charity event? Do you want to get album reviews, stories, interviews, or to play on somebody's live blog or television show? All of this is extremely important because it's going to totally dictate your entire campaign how long you have in advance to contact certain media people, and even the tools and messaging that you're going to use to pitch certain media people and to ultimately reach your fans. So first, you must establish specific objectives. If you need more help with putting together your own SMART goals, be sure to check out this video on my channel, which can offer many more tips. Number two, building a database. Now that you have your goals in place, putting together a database of media that can help you reach your goals is the next important step. Start with your local scene. Who are the local music and lifestyle magazines, podcasts, and radio stations that attract your target audience. Also research your like artists or competition. Just go to their website and you'll probably see that they've listed all of the media that have covered them and just follow the breadcrumbs. They've already done the work for you. And you can also search online for databases and lists such as the Indie Bible, which lists thousands of pre-approved media people who are willing to listen to your music. But whatever methods you use, just be realistic. Reaching out to Rolling Stone, Consequence of Sound, or Pitchfork Media is probably out of your league right now. If you want to learn more about databases, be sure to stay tuned to my channel because I'm producing a video on that topic right now. Number three, preparing media tools. Now that you have your target database together, finding out what their submission policies are and then putting together the right media tools becomes the next important step. Do they want you to send a press release, a bio, a photo, a link to a song, a link to a video, or links to other media outlets that have covered you? Typically, you can get this information on the websites of various media media outlets or by calling and asking for permission to send something and what they prefer you send. In any case, it's extremely important that you take this time to put together some really well thought out media tools that totally captures your story, your uniqueness, and your values. Because first impressions really do matter, especially when you're just starting out. If you need more help in putting together really excellent press tools, be sure to go to my YouTube channel and watch this video on drafting press releases and writing better Bios. Number four, aligning the web. While on the topic of preparing media tools, doing some preparation to your online brand and presence is another important step. Make sure that your website, Instagram, and even YouTube channel all have consistent banners that point to a specific single, album, or tour that you're ultimately promoting. This will build excitement around your brand and get media people more fired up about working with you. In short, you'll project a message that your media campaign is organized, aligned and that you mean some serious business. Once again, first impressions really do matter. Number five, making contact. Now that you have your web presence and media tools in place and you also have your media database, now making contact becomes the next important step. Typically, this is either done by email or by phone. In either case, have a brief introduction plan then be ready to express how you and your music can be of interest and benefit their reader. Oh, and it doesn't it hurt to butter them up a little bit and tell them how much you love their work. Just don't overdo it. Number six, following up. After making contact and waiting a few days or a week, following up becomes the next crucial step in the media process. Make no mistake, if you don't follow up, you fail. A good rule of thumb is to check back every week for maybe four weeks. And if you don't hear back at that point, that's probably your answer. But don't worry, you can always try again later when you have a little bit more 
clown. Just be patient, be polite, and never get angry. Remember, nobody owes you anything. anything. Number seven, giving thanks. If you were lucky enough to get the press coverage that you were looking for, then giving thanks becomes the next important step in the media process. Reaching out to the individual and thanking them gives the opportunity to build stronger bonds and can lead to even more press down the line. But don't just contact people when you want something. Reach out to them when you don't want anything and maybe you're just sending them a holiday card or something. This is what's called the attitude of gratitude and it can go a really far way in the media business. Remember, it's all about relationships. Wait, I gotta write this down. Remember this. Number eight, promoting the promotion. Now, showing off the press that you receive is yet another and often overlooked step in the media process. Be sure to put testimonials that you get from media people on your website and also have links to all the articles you get too. As I've alluded to earlier, press gets more press. The more you could show other media people that people are writing about you, the more they're likely to write about you as well. Number nine, measuring success. Measuring your success is also another important step in the media process. After your campaign, take out your phone like we did in the beginning of this video, Google yourself and see how many times your name comes up with reviews and interviews. If it's an improvement, then remember what you did and repeat it. If you haven't made any progress, then you gotta hit the books and like go back and watch more of my videos. But the last thing you wanna do is keep on making the same mistakes. As somebody once said, doing the same things over and over again is definition of insanity. <laughs> Number 10, hiring a publicist. If all of this that I've discussed in this video sounds like a lot of work, then you can always get a referral from someone that you trust for a seasoned publicist. Publicists typically have big databases and a lot of connections with people in the media that might be able to get you press. The biggest problem for most independent artists is that they don't have the finances to afford a publicist. Publicists can cost a lot of money, sometimes several thousand dollars a month, and in order to show some really big results, you have to be with them for several months. So really, the best advice for DIY why independent artists like all you guys out there is to roll up your sleeves and just get busy and do the work yourself. Hey, the good news is, is that there's always channels like mine and this video drafting your press release that can help you turn your passion for music into a more successful business. My name is Bobby Borg. Thanks for watching you guys. Peace. No, seriously, you guys, this sounds like a lot of work, but getting press is extremely important. So get to it.